welcome to a new vlog. Happy Friday. Today is Friday. I am going to meet up with Ileana for her birthday. I am going to order an Uber right now because I don't want to be late. Okay, I'm going to get there at 1.55. Okay, I just ordered the Uber. This is the hair that I did today. I, I recorded the entire like get ready with me process from makeup to hair to also out. My hair is just still a little bit wet, so I'm trying to like fluff it out so that I can have just a little bit more volume. Okay, the Uber is six minutes away, but I'll show you guys my little outfit. Top is from Shein, jeans are from Zara, and then heels of choice. But I'm gonna head out now, pack my bag, and all the things. So, see you guys on my way there. Like, like summer together. I know, right? I love the giraffe. Then we have a princess cake, so like lemon sponge cake with the pink matzo on top. Then follow up with a fruit tart, so if you didn't take your vitamin C. Guys, look who I'm with. Hi. Look what he brought. Tell the people, babe, what is it? The if they can't guess what it is by looking at it. Best stress legends you will ever taste. Ever in life. It is so delicious. I just had some. And it's nice and creamy. See, Dan and I were taking pictures. And then we took some videos and stuff of her outfit. And then I took some. And then they came to the rescue. So I didn't have to take an Uber all the way back home. So Because Ubers okay. now would have been like 70 bucks. I'm still on camera. <laughs> yes, you're still on camera. I want to you, dude. It's a wide lens angle, my love. They're going to see you regardless. Look. Look. <laughs> He's eating. <laughs> I gotta take my shoes off because they already blistered on my feet because we were walking a few blocks to like get a good spot for the photos. There's like no light in here. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday and yesterday I did not vlog at all because I was editing the vlog and this morning I woke up early to just finish editing it and post it. So I really did not do much yesterday. So that's why I didn't vlog, didn't really do anything. But today we are cleaning, packing, finishing packing and I'm gonna style my hair because my hair was really dry. I used the Mayel Mousse and that was it and it looked really pretty but i i didn't scrunch it out so all of that product felt really producty in my hair and i just did not like how my hair felt whatsoever i also cut my hair i know it like looks so much shorter yeah it looks short <laughs> but i cut my hair you guys and i only cut off from here maybe like four inches i want to say i don't think you guys could tell right now because i'm wearing a black shirt but i cut off the bottom of my hair because when i got a haircut with ona i told her that i wanted to keep my length and just add layers and that was probably the worst mistake that i made and the reason the only reason why i'm saying it was a mistake is because since i hadn't gone to the hair salon in like a year my ends were really really bad and they were like thin and see-through and so after the haircut I was noticing that my hair still was very thin and see-through at the ends because I dragged out my haircut for so long which moving forward I will not do ever again because because of that I noticed like my ends are super duper thin and although I want my hair to be like long and whatever to have like a different look if my ends are thin and see-through it's it's just no it's not cute it's just let's just start over and let's figure it out so I ended up cutting off like four inches to kind of even it out I didn't want to do too much but my ends were so stringy and whenever I would like detangle my hair or like touch my hair in the ends like it was just like one little pelito that was super long and I'm just like no so I ended up cutting it off literally was in the shower split my hair into two and I brushed it down on this bottom part and went and I cut it and now it's like so much fuller because 
it was just not cute so I'm gonna start taking my vitamins again I'm gonna start doing more like intensive treatments to my hair and honestly most importantly because I already do like treatments to my hair but most importantly is follow up on my haircuts because that's why my hair was super see-through and when I was talking to Ona she was like girl you need to cut your hair like more often so I was holding on to damage length essentially because my ends were just broken and yeah so I'm excited to style my hair to see what it's gonna look like because I took a couple inches off and I just wanted to look fuller and not as choppy you know and I don't I don't really like how choppy it was looking so hopefully I fixed it or at least on the road to recovery over here I do need to be better at taking my vitamins and stuff like that and also doing more like scalp massages and stuff like that because I don't know my hair in the summer is when I get over it I always tell you guys it's always around this time when my hair starts to feel dry and I just have to tell myself it is the humidity it is the you know the warmer weather but it was pretty damaged so I know I had to like just cut some off because I prolonged my haircut for a year don't do that because you will have to cut off hair because it's damaged see even this part now it's so much like thicker than it was before because it was so stringy and I did I just you guys know you know your hair and you know what looks good when it's healthy and those ends just were not healthy okay enough talking about the hair that I cut <laughs> I found this in Target a few weeks ago and I forgot about it but it's the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Whipped Curl Cream and I remember loving this line it did wonders to my hair my hair felt really nice and soft we're just gonna try this product out I also brought out the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator it's their gel this is like one of the best gels ever hands down and it's also really good for the summer I forgot about it I was looking through my product stash and I was like what here is gonna make my hair feel nice and soft but also hold the moisture and then I saw that one and I was like this is perfect it has like a runny consistency if you guys can tell yeah it's not like super thick so I did spray my hair I'm actually gonna spray a little bit more I don't want to put too much product of this because I don't want my curls to take a year and a day to dry I am wetting it that could be another thing I stopped like wetting my hair a lot and using it on dry hair and I started using less product maybe my hair is just like girl we need more product now I'm going in with the gel oh my god my ends feel so much better I just love like a fresh haircut when your ends are like blunt and they feel nice and full and I didn't have like a blunt haircut it was more like to maintain the layers so I didn't have that feeling well I'm using the Felicia Leatherwood styling brush to style today not the Denman because the Denman just always gives me more shrinkage but I am gonna scrunch upwards I just feel like this is more effective So I decided that I'm going to air dry my hair instead of diffusing it. I don't have the time today to sit and diffuse my hair. Put these little clips here so that my curls and my hair doesn't dry flat. So, so I'm going to start packing or finish packing. Ooh, so dark. <laughs> okay, so here's what my situation looks like right now. There's a lot, a lot of stuff that I still have to like put and like figure out. One thing at a time, Charlie. So for the most part, I got here my camera gear. I don't know if I showed you guys. I didn't. Guys, look how cute my camera bag is i got it off amazon and it is so beautiful i think i showed it to you guys in the last vlog but it came in it is so nice and spacious as well and you can wear it as a crossbody bag so everything is like nice and secure so i can fit all of my filming stuff and my lens that i was showing you guys in the other vlog and i also remember that i had to have an adapter because this lens doesn't fit this camera without the adapter so I got the adapter. I got my little handheld tripod for like vlogging and stuff like that. I have this little memory card holder. And then I have my little lights. This light, I have to link it for you guys because this light is literally what, whoops, 
this light is literally what saves me when I am vlogging in like a darker place where there's not good lighting. I usually have this attached to my camera, but since I'm filming like during the day today, I already packed it because I don't want to forget it. And then I have my other microphone, my little monitor so that when I'm doing like makeup and TikToks and stuff, I have that and then like all the wires for that. Everything fit in so nicely and that's literally all of the only thing that's missing is my battery for my camera, but I'm still using it. So that's why I haven't put it in. And then this came in as well. This was for my glasses to organize all of my glasses. And it has like a little hook. I love the color of it. Here's what it looks like. I just have to put my glasses for like, I have one more pair of sunglasses that I think I'm gonna put in here, but it's so beautiful. And then when I get to like the bathroom or whatever, I can just hang it over and have my glasses displayed. This was so cute. I will also link this. I need to work on like links because I always say I'm gonna link it. And then when I post a video, I completely forget. So please remind me if I forget to link anything because these are really great things to have and then this is also something that I got which was for my mask but I think I showed you that you guys that already this I got was the backseat car holder it's basically like to put your iPad in the back of the seat so that you can see it and I'm gonna be taking that iPad with me as well with my computer but yeah I have a lot of like little compartments that I want to pack this is the bag that i'm going to be taking this is kind of like my my handbag but it has like so much space so i can put my computer and i love that it has like the little pe piernitas in the bottom so that i can pa que no se dañe la caldera so the bag doesn't get messed up in the bottom so i have that i need to get my case for my computer all of my cables my external drive which i had to buy a new one because mine got messed up this is where i store all of my content or maybe i could use this one for my wires i think i bought one specifically for wires and like techie stuff so i'm gonna look for it but if i don't find it i'm gonna use this hi milo boy you look like an old man here i have all of my skincare already that i'm packing just a bunch of like random skincare that i know i cannot live without got my kiehl's eye cream this stuff is so good my sister put me onto it and then i got my user in sunscreen we got some toners just literally everything and i also have my nivea cream which doesn't fit in there so i'm gonna have to put it in my maleta like i'm gonna have to leave it out but this is perfect and then i have space for like maybe my toothbrush and my toothpaste and stuff like that i'll probably take some like teeth whitening stuff because i always like to carry that so that is in here here i have all of my hair stuff my mom is taking some sotanical products i told her to bring all the sotanical products that she has here are the products that i'm taking with me for the trip so i'm taking the eden body works cleansing co-wash and i'm hoping to like finish all these products so that i don't have to bring them back it's really nice and moisturizing i'm going for moisture with the products that i'm taking because my hair already kind of feels dry and so i totally forgot i had this product this is, this is one of my favorite like overnight treatments to do in my hair the Maya moisture hawaiian ginger moisturizing overnight it's a deep conditioner so this is the only deep conditioner that i'm bringing if i feel like i need something else i'll probably just go to like the target or the walmart or whatever and like restock but i'm sticking with moisture and then for styling cream i have the botanica light curl cream this stuff is so good and i can use it on its own or layer it under with like a gel on top and so for gel i'm taking the curl maker again these products are like almost finishing so that's why i want to take them and i hope that it like gives me enough for the trip but this is the curl maker gel it's such a good product i'm almost kind of done with it but it layers really nicely with a bunch of products so i'm gonna take this one for shampoo and conditioner i am gonna use the mile organics moisturizing the pomegranate and honey line their shampoo and conditioner i remember this being extremely moisturizing for my curls so that's why i am taking that that is the duo of choice that i will be taking with me ah <laughs> right here so i have that and then i have a mousse because you guys know sometimes i just want like a quick wash and go which i shouldn't not do this often because it can dry out your hair so i'm just selectively going to be doing that and then i have this from curlsmith which i got and i also need to take the vitamins i want to pack those so that i can start taking them because i want my hair to be fuller and thicker and just overall healthier and maintaining the health of it so this is something that you put in your scalp i want to put this on my edges and stuff like that so i'm taking it with me so that i can remember every time i like wash my hair to do that and then last but not least my aussie curls curl defining oil this 
this is like almost done it'll probably only give me for like two wash and goes maybe and then just in case that runs out i got my bread oil which is so good as well i can use this for deep conditioning for separating my curls for more moisture all of the things so those are the hair products that i'm taking with me let me go ahead and throw it back in my bag ew what happened to this bag i took this one to florida and i had i guess i had my makeup in here but it's fine. So I'm gonna put this back inside and give Milo his ball so that he's not grouchy. This is what you want? Is this what you want? Go. Okay guys, I found my little jewelry, little organizer situation and this is what I have so far. So I have necklaces over here. I have some earrings over here, rings, earrings, bracelets, and I have bracelets over here. Okay, so I've made a lot of progress. I was on the phone with my sister and she's packing up she was packing up the kids clothes and I was packing up my stuff and so I've made a lot of progress I think I'm almost done I think the only thing that's left is shoes I have to figure out what shoes I want to take and then my Nespresso machine and the pods that I'm taking because we are taking the Nespresso machine to save money on coffee because I just love my Nespresso machine I know that's a little extra but I'm extra so it's okay <laughs> oh my god Milo kills me he just loves being on <laughs> Hi, brother. You're so sweet. You are so cute. So it might not look like I got anything done, but I did. I did my makeup. I did so much. So let me show you guys. So I got this little bag here for hair stuff. I found some more masks because I wanted to take more masks. I was like, I need more hair masks because I do that twice a week. So I got these from Not Your Mother's and then a Palmer's one and they fit perfectly right over here. These are my hair ties. They're so good because they stretch so I can do that for my half up, half down. I can do it for my high bun, low bun, everything. I can use these. And then on this section, I have my Tangle Teaser brush. I'm using this one to detangle my hair and to style my hair. And then I have a bristle brush that I just washed and my edge brush also just washed just waiting for that to dry so that I can have a nice clean brush and then I have this gel right here which is perfect for humid days and sweaty days like this will not your edges will not move so I'm gonna finish that I got some random hair clips over here I also have my pattern hair pick and then here I got my bobby pins in this little container which is so cute and then in the other one I have rubber bands because I like to do like little hairstyles so I fit all the rubber bands here and I love how cute it is and it won't get messed up or lost or anything because it has a place. So all I need to do is just wait until my brush is dry. I'll bring them here and my hair accessory little situation is done. And then I did my makeup one, which is this one right here. I also washed all of my makeup brushes. So that's drying. I'll just put that in in the morning. But let me just show you guys how made it work there's a lot of stuff in here but i made it work so all of my brushes are gonna fit here and i already measured it and like i got the perfect amount of brushes to fit there and so these are some of the products well these are all of the products that i will be taking on the trip with me for makeup and i know it's gonna be really hot so i'm probably not gonna be wearing makeup on a regular day basis but again i am still working on this trip so i still will film like get readies with me i'll still film like makeup videos i threw in a whole bunch of like the new rare beauty products and then I brought the Laura Mercier, the tinted moisturizer. I brought the Makeup Forever HD skin, which is so good. And then I brought the Estee Lauder Double Wear just because it's my darkest foundation shade at the moment. And I know for a fact I'm going to get tan. So I brought that and I got this new powder from Laura Mercier, which I love their regular one. But this is the ultra blurring one. It's a new one. So I'm excited to try that out and to see how I like it. Got some lash stuff, some concealers, bronzer bronzer, sharpener. I got literally everything that I need. And then these are the palettes of choice that I brought. I brought the Huda Beauty, the Rich one. I bought the Caramel Brown one. It's such a good eyeshadow palette. And then the Nude and then a highlighting palette. I wish I had more of the under eye patches. I only have one. I'll probably pick some up from like Target or something over there or Walmart. I didn't overdo it. I don't think it looks like a lot, but there's a lot of steps to makeup, but I didn't overdo it. So I'm proud of myself. Only thing is I still have shoes. I want to bring this but I might cut it in half so that I can just bring half because I obviously don't need all these lashes probably gonna wear lashes like maybe once or twice for like a dinner or something so I definitely want to cut that I also am planning on bringing these half lashes which are fun lashes are always fun to just throw on 
So it's a little bit later now and I just finished drying my curls because they were taking 10 years and a day to like dry and I was not about that life. I finished packing, which is awesome. I am hungry. It's like five o'clock now. It's 4.56, so it's almost five. I'm sweating. I dried my hair. <sighs> Can I just say I cut off the perfect amount that I needed to like give me what I was looking for. So I cut off, I want to say about four inches. This is what it looks like now. And I wonder if you guys could see like the fullness. My ends were so straggly. I don't know if you guys were able to tell in different videos, but this is now more thicker and it has way more volume in the bottom versus before. It was just like a couple of pelitos, like straggly here. And I really like the full look. This part kind of dried a little longer because I was air drying it and it's actually still kind of wet. Like this part, I put way too much product. I'm gonna practice is just getting more frequent haircuts and just trimming my ends to avoid all of the like damage. Like it was bad. If you saw my highlighting video, like when my hair was brushed out, the bottom hairs were so bad, but I was telling Owen, I was like don't touch the length like I want to keep the length but that's just me keeping damage and the more I did my hair the more I realized that so I'm so happy <laughs> I just threw my hair up in this bun y'all know when I'm home and my hair is done this is what I do because I'm sweating and I don't want my hair in my face that's also going to help with some volume in the top of my curls because they were looking kind of flat so I'm not planning on doing my hair anymore I leave tomorrow night so at least my curls are done and I'll probably honestly be chilling with my hair <laughs> I just love the fullness I'm so happy I'm gonna try not to get scissors. Like happy because sometimes when I get too excited, I'm like, ooh, let me just cut some more off. But no, if I can grow it out with this fullness in the bottom, that is what I want. So I do want to grow my hair out, but I want it to be full. I don't want it to be stringy and straggly. So my goal is to grow it out healthy, not just to have length to say I have length. You Alexa, pause. Señores, ya son las siete. And I have to go walk the dog. Hey! Milo, I mean, me! Stop it right now. Stop it. 7 p.m. now, literally on the dot. I put an alarm for 7 p.m. And I need to take a break to walk the dogs because my husband's not home yet. I have been cleaning, deep cleaning all of the things and i wasn't recording because i was listening to worship music y me quedé ahí en adoración. and i was just cleaning and stuff like that so office is clean and filming room is clean i'll show you guys so my office is clean feels so good i just finished mopping look at the dog <laughs> they're like ma are you gonna take me out we're gonna go outside 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 you wanna go outside okay come on let's go one second boys okay and then i did my filming room as well just have to do the unboxing we'll do unboxings later on tonight once everything else is done but everything for the most part is ready carpet my rug not carpet my rug i still haven't put it on it's been like a few weeks i washed it i just haven't put it on so hopefully i'll put that on today and then my next project is the living room we'll say yeah, it's most of my stuff obviously i'm gonna do it really quick i am gonna get rid of this i was gonna leave it on my husband said he wouldn't mind but i don't want to come home to have to pop these balloons and like you know i don't want to have to do that so i would just clean everything up we're getting mounts for that probably tomorrow because best buy is already gonna be closed by the time my husband gets home so it's just tidying this space up asap so but i'm gonna take a quick break to walk the dogs and then we will continue the cleaning just gave the boys a bath so they're going crazy here's all my stuff for the most part i still have to kind of review it tomorrow i'll do that right now i'm going to shop my stash for virtual pods because i'm taking this machine i was going to take this one because it's smaller but my parents like the big cup they don't really like espresso shots like that and i also have way more virtual pods than the little ones so this is the only little ones that i have and these are all of my espresso ones i mean virtual so i'm gonna be taking Taking. This is so fun. I also think I'm going to take my frother so that I don't have to bring the electric one. It'll just be easier to just bring the hand frother. So I'm going to bring that with its little stand. I should turn on the light. Hold on. Because I put you guys on the chair. So I'm going to be taking... My parents don't really like pumpkin spice. So I will be taking just four 
pumpkin spice, some Bianca Forte. I'm gonna take caramel cookie. Definitely vanilla custard pie. My parents love hazelnut, so definitely hazelnut. Melozio is also a must. Costa Rica. This is literally my favorite virtual pod. This one in Peru. 